That's a Paul Simon song, of course. Um, so this next song is uh, off of my new upcoming record. I just finished making a record, and um, it's, a, it's a very long process. You know, you work really hard on it for six months, and you listen to the songs over and over and uh, change them and listen again. And so I just sent it in to the manufacturing place. It feels really great. I just feel like I've just given birth or something, and except that usually when you give birth, you're like usually happy to see see your baby. Um, I'm just really sick and tired of my baby, so to speak. I can't hear it anymore <laughs> right now, but uh, it's, it's it turned out really good, actually. Um, I'm sure I will love it again <laughs> one day. Uh, that was a terrible, terrible sales pitch. Um, it turned out really good, actually. <laughs> um, it was produced by Richard Schindel, and he, he himself lent it so much beauty that... Uh, I couldn't even have done that myself. So this song is on the new record, and I want to get my friend Ellis Paul up to sing harmony. This is Ellis Paul. <laughs> this song is called Vertigo, and uh, it's the title track.
to open for Alice Paul again. I opened for him quite a bit for a, a year or He's so. He's great. <laughs> God, I he love is. him. I don't, know, I, find, I don't know if he knows how great he is. Actually, maybe he does. <laughs> Just maybe. I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I am a fan and I've always been and I got to open for Alice intensively for a year. Um, kind of a, get a jump start on my career and we haven't done it that much lately, so I'm really happy it's to, so nice be to be back. so nice to see you. Likewise. So um, this song's called Jerusalem. It's off of my last record. And, uh, and it's about the Middle East conflict. And uh, I'm very sad to say that it's a timely song again. Um, we were, uh, I had actually, my family co came over for Christmas to visit me here. And we were at a restaurant. And um, we were debating about the Middle East, which is just so pointless because, um, well, you know, it's just <laughs> like my, my, my German family uh, tends to be sort of pro-Palestinian because the, the media portrays the whole conflict pretty differently over there. And um, most Germans tend to end up taking the side of the, of the underdog of the Palestinians. And then my boyfriend was kind of defending the Israeli side and they were all just pouncing on him. And, and the people at the table next to us wanted to jump in. I could tell like they had it on their faces, but they were, you know, re restraining because they didn't know us. But, um, <laughs> but it's just, I, I tend to be somewhere in the middle. I, I mean, I, th I just think that the extremists on both sides are going to go to hell and they'll be surprised to see each other there. <laughs> So um, so that's kind of what the song is trying to do, take the, mid the middle ground, I guess. 